Welcome back to the channel guys. This is my Pixel 9 Pro XL and I'm using the Android 16 QPR1 Beta 2 M. In this version, we have the Linux development environment, which is an experimental run Linux terminal on Android. Guys, so what you can do with this, the moment you start this in, you're gonna get the Linux terminal, from which you can start a VM you know, with Linux, and it's just not a terminal, it's a proper VM, right? And by the way, you can also configure the disk size on this. On mine, I'm using something like 16G port control recovery, and you can also get like multiple tabs with different versions. This thing here, guys, is a real Linux environment, and this has been around since quite some time, I guess, at least in the latest iterations, but Android is making this really better. Now, in some of the previous versions here, there was an option to run a display. So just to add a display activity, which means that you can also run, you know, graphical user interface like X servers. And then of course, something like KD or Gnome or, you know, something else, whatever this is. But guys, because I was not able to do this, I found a way using a script you can see on the screen to run Debian 12. And this thing here is connected to my PC. So I'm gonna show you the script that I've used from GitHub. And I'm also gonna give you the uh, Origin Debian 12 graphical user interface store running totally on my Android 16 on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. And I think, I mean, this is just, this is crazy guys. All right, let's start. So guys, this is how this thing works. There is this script here on GitHub. I'm gonna put the link in the video comments. Android 16 Terminal Debian a Graphical User Interface Access Tool. So basically what you need to download on your phone is the Android 16 Terminal SH, all right? This is the script, by the way. There are no secrets, you can see the code. What this thing will pretty much do is, I'm gonna show you, all right? So it will allow you very easily to configure the Linux terminal, right? So you just need to give the proper rights with chmod plus x to make this an executable and then execute the script and follow everything on your phone, okay? And this is very important, guys, but what this thing is gonna do, is gonna install a full desktop environment and also a VNC server, and it will actually open and configure the server to run on this port 5901. So you need to connect your phone to uh, the PC with USB and you need to make sure to run ADB forward uh, TCP, the port to the same port. So uh, this is going to enable your connection from the PC, right? The moment you start it just to connect to a local host with the same port, all right? So what you're getting is, you also are getting SSH server configuration on your phone. Okay, you can choose from different locales if you want. Like I'm using UTF-8, but you can use other things if you want. Desktop environment installation, which I think is quite important because this thing is going to give you a whole that sweet GUI that you're gonna see here. And it's going to also install uh, the Tiger VNC server on your phone, guys. So what I'm using right now is real VNC and I'm connected, by the way, on my phone. Um, this is budget crazy, guys, because this thing that you see right now on the screen is a real desktop environment. And it's so crazy because we now have also the Google, you know, desktop implementation, Android desktop implementation, such as One UI Dex, and it's a bit basic right now. But this thing here just takes this to the next level. And I'm just going to show you a very short tour, guys. Now, ideally, and hopefully they're gonna bring in the next version, again, the display capability to start the GFX stream directly on the phone and to run this directly on the phone because right now I need to use AV and so I can still run this on the phone, but I need to use AV and so client to connect. First, let's start with an overview of the system. So as you can see, this is the thing that I located, I, as I told you. I'm using only 16G of total space. I already used 10 of this. This is, by the way, what happens right now on the CPU. So the OS is Debian GNU Linux 12 bookworm, guys. I'm running on top. KD Plasma version 5.27.5 uh, with this framework in the QD version. Okay, this is the memory, this is the disk. I can see and access all my applications. So. It's not quick at this point of time, uh, but I'm just flabbergasted by all that you can do because let's just show you guys. This is again, uh, really all the credit goes to this guy that put up the script there. But if I go inside games, it's it's just, I mean, you have like a big collection, Chocolate Doom, Chocolate Heretic. So let's try to start Chocolate Doom and see if we, we can really start this. And as we can see, yeah, absolutely. So I'm using, of course, my keyboard. 
in my mouse. Okay, and yeah, this is pretty playable, I would say. All right, I can still fire up my gun now. Not all of the things work, by the way. And as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's, there are some drifts, but it's 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 just very good for a beginning. Now, what I kind of see, and I think that's important. I also have some troubles to get my sound there. All right, but I can definitely play the game if I want to. Uh, and it's such 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 a great thing to see uh, inside, you know, Android. So this is the freedom version. Uh, but as, as I told you guys, this is not really like a typical Samsung DeX environment where you still run Android apps, okay? Now, Google, they do still have this uh, Android desktop, and I show this in one of my videos. But let me show you something else. I can go inside Office, all right? And you can see now I have the full Libre suite. So I can decide to start the Libre Office Writer, okay? And this is going to start the real Libre Office. So it's not going to be like a version for Android. This is really like the desktop experience. And you can see I have all these nitty gritty things here. I can change, of course, and, and you know, use different locales, um, different charges. I can save and not save if I want. It's pretty impressive, guys. And I'm just thinking like, this is so cool because it will allow you to start a full Linux desktop experience with a you know X server with a graphical user interface on top, and you can do whatever you want with this. So there are calendars. So let me just open the calendar and show you. All right, so I can open the calendar. You can see it's it's not so fast. I think it's even rather slow, uh, but you can really use this as a full blown system. And besides, of course, uh, the LibreOffice. I wanted to show you also this thing here. So we have LibreOffice Calc, <laughs> which is pretty much like a version of Excel. Again, everybody can access this. And we have all the nice formatting things and, you know, like stuff that usually are not so easy if you want to do them, you know, in a, a totally mobile experience. Here, everything works. Now, it's far from being still perfect. And I just hope that they're going to make it better. Uh, but you can see the power of this. And we can also uh, start other games like we have a chocolate hexen. Let me just start this one. Okay, this one doesn't work. I want to really give it like the full tour, guys. So if I start here, this is going to be my quick settings. And you can see the original settings. You can really fine tune this to your usage. The moment I started this, by the way, it was only running with like 8 bit. So my way of just fixing it is I just went here to configure desktop and wallpapers and I just selected get new plugins and selected one of the others. But let's just see if we are able to, you know, just okay, you can see like I am able to change, apply all of this. It's so it's it's really it's a full blown OS. And it's so cool, guys. And I'm really impressed because this all now runs on my Pixel, you know, with the Tensor. So and we know like Tensor is not the best um, mobile pro to around so you have a lot of games that you can try of course there are some standard stuff like chess but if you want to play chess okay be my guest you can do this i can minimize this you can see now all these things are going to get minimized down below here i can start this uh, once more and we have kate like an advanced text editor so all the games also all the games guys you can see <laughs> there, there are really a lot of a lot of games by the way there are even some first person shooter games if you want to start them i'm not sure if they're going to work okay this is i guess another like port all right, let's do this one. Okay, let me show you some more stuff. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go inside the games. All right, let's just see what we have. So we have some Hitori. We have some mines. I guess this is a port of like, what is it? Like Minesweeper? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm old enough to remember this. Uh, by the way, I have some widgets. So you can see now when I start the clock, it's going to be like here. And this is going to give me the calendar. I can always click from here and add more widgets. And I want to show you like the widget screen. So we have all these absolutely gorgeous widgets that you can just take and put if you want on, on your uh, system bar here or directly on the desktop. So you know what I'm going to do right now? Let me just go and let me just take the this usage, for example, and just show you how this works. So I can select the this usage and I can put it here. Okay. And now let's say I can just go like this. I can enter here and get in the edit mode. We're able to kind of like resize all the widgets and I'm able to place them where I want them to be. Okay. Uh, you can see, boom, now I'm going to just stop and yeah. All right. Exit edit mode. Okay. Now you can see that this usage. I mean, yeah, plenty of options. I can also have this thing here, which is like a, a, another launcher. It will give me access to all of the applications. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a proper OS really like it's, it's, it's so amazing to see that you can do this. In the past, of course, you were also able to kind of directly run Linux, you know, with some ported ROMs directly on your phone. But this doesn't really require you to sacrifice Pixel UI. You can just run this in the VM. All right, so I showed you the games. Guys, we have plenty of games. 
Now what about the graphics? We have document scanners, document viewers, we have the um, GNU image manipulation program, an image viewer, you know, contrast checker. We have also the LibreOffice Draw. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. And everything really starts, and again, it's not the quickest experience, guys. Uh, but I'm just thinking from here, it can only go upwards and hopefully become even better. And I wanted to just show like a real d demo, right? So, okay, now I can just go here, draw different objects. I can minimize this and you can see this thing is going to get minimized here. Now here I have all the uh, minimized options. Now, by the way, there are even some updates available. So technically guys, you should be also able to download packages from here. Uh, let me show you how this works first. So, okay. I can open this thing, which is um, the Discover Updates. Sadly, I wasn't able to install this. Uh, I still have some troubles to access this, although I have internet connection. All right. And by the way, as I'm showing you this demo, guys, and I'm using it, I'm still getting all my phone things like notifications. People can call me. Can we open YouTube from here? Let's try to see. All right. And as you can see, the ads are playing fine. All right. Another ad. So now I'm gonna try to see if I'm able to play the video if I skip through the ads. This time, I guess, we're gonna have more success. Oh, we are able to, <laughs> we are able to start a video, guys. And yeah, this is how it runs. So, you know, I'm just gonna go for like the lowest available settings. Uh, right, yeah, it's 720p, so okay. It's 720p, guys, so this is like HD. If I go for a full screen experience, yeah, as I told you guys, this is going to really struggle, but you know, it's. It's a, it's a thing, all right? It still works. Uh, so I think it's it's exciting. Okay, let me show you more of the things. So inside of graphics, all right, we have the contrast checker, LibreOffice Ocular. What about internet, guys? We have the um, aggregator. We have the Firefox browser, mail clients, web browsers, guys. Transmission even, all right, you know what it is. Then in multimedia, guys, we have music players. We have sound recorders. We have an option to play videos. Inside Office, guys, many things that I've shown you. Science and Math, we have the LibreOffice Math. Inside the settings, okay, advanced network configuration. Software updates, guys, and this is quite, quite crazy. We have also software and updates, and uh, <laughs> ideally, if that's a proper desktop, you should be able to, to update it. Now, I have some problems with downloading some of the packages. Somehow, um, the updates or discover up things that I'm uh, offline, uh, but it's able still to, to try at least to try to fetch the updates. It's not gonna work for a reason, right? But then guys, you have the other option. So let me just show you. If I go inside system, okay, I can also uh, access the um, proper terminal, okay, by console app, all right? By the way, show you. Okay, so you can see it's really running on the phone, okay, Debian, all right? This is everything that I have started right now. It's a lot of things uh, you can see. So I'll just do something, uh, apt update. All right, yeah, now I'm able to update all the packages. Let me just see if this is gonna get true. And in the meantime, you can see this thing, yep, okay. One package can be upgraded. Let's just see what this is. All right, you know, I'm just gonna do it like that. It's telling me one, okay, additional package. All right, which is this package that I can update, guys? Mm hmm. Okay, this one, not so interesting. But I have some cool stuff that I can share. So not only can I run Midnight Commander here, right? And I have really access, like you can see, this is absolutely like a proper VM. I can exit if I want. Okay, let me show you more of the system stuff. So we, when I go inside systems, I have discovered, this is the software center. Dolphin, I have a proper file manager. Let me try to minimize my console. Okay, so this is it, guys. <laughs> All right, it's in my desktop and you know, all my downloads, music if I have, I don't have any pictures, videos, trash, network. We have uh, the Gnome system monitor. Okay, let's just see. It's interesting. I want to see how much RAM I have. Okay, okay, this that's now the, the, the real thing. So, uh, resources. Okay, CPU. Oh my God, you can see guys, it, it only runs on four G of RAM. And right now I, I was not able to find a way to allocate more RAM on the VM. And of course, I'm like almost, almost like maxing out, like 88%, right? So this is it, guys. This is the reality. Uh, let's see what we have more here. Again, it's a proper, it's a proper thing. So info center, guys. It's a proper desktop. You can do whatever you want with this. Of course, limited to the VM itself. But this is it, guys. About system. This is Debian GNU Linux 12. 
So if I go to utilities, guys, clocks, files, fonts. Okay, there is another one, like a sand in calculator. Oh, and this one seems to be working, right? Okay, you can go inside the options, screen size. Okay, mouse sensitivity. Let me make this not so sensitive. Okay, with the keyboard, I can say it's it's better, guys. Uh, I don't have a feeling that's like 100% GFX accelerated. But you can see, oh my god, yeah. So definitely the support is still broken. Oops, all right, now you see, oh, I'm back to the nice color. You can, by the way, also go from here uh, and try to configure the display settings, things as resolution and orientation. You can do, you can do this, okay? You can see right now, I'm trying to use like the highest resolution. What else, guys, can you do with this? Like, there are a lot of things built already, uh, and I think it's cool. Some of the things work, some not so much, right? But you can see the potential, right? and you have a full-blown desktop that you can use. And if that's your thing, you know, you just go somewhere, hook up your phone to a PC, and you can use this little distribution. Now, the best thing is for us to be able to run this directly on the phone without VNC and just use the display, which I think is anyway going to happen at some point because in one of the earliest, better not the QPR, this was available and it really worked. So this was like a demonstration on what we currently have. And as you can see, this really runs directly uh, on the phone. Okay, and I need to use a VNC, of course, VNC client for my PC to connect, but I can as well also start this directly on the phone. Guys, this has been the video. Let me know if you want to see something else. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.